Mr. E, the gamer, greatest ball disclaimer, warning of what you may get, he's the best of all, do not forget, he's awesome, he's so cool, subscribe now, that's the only rule, cause Mr. E's gonna keep doing like snow gaming left for tomorrow. What's up guys, it's Mr. E Fornium, and today we are continuing the neighborhood house tutorial. Guess what, it's part four, so that means this is the last and final part of this tutorial. Now what you want to do, come underneath these stairs, just like this, and you want to put them upside down, it's pretty obvious, you've been doing it for this whole tutorial, if you watch it for the whole tutorial, that is, and go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, outline, And you could actually place this right here just like that it may look a little weird but trust me you can delete this one if you want and then you can place upside down just like that actually that does look better anyway so I'll go ahead and do that and have this going upside down underneath these sorry if you're not understanding what I'm saying in this video I'm trying to make it as clear as possible. Okay. Now what you got to do is go ahead and fill this in. One, two, three, four, five, just like that. All the way around till it meets back. It's right here. So go ahead and fill in that okay so what you want to do now is go ahead and fill these two blocks in right here behind there so you don't get that ugly disgusting gap from the outside just like that now what you want to do is add one more layer of brick going all the way around so that way it lines up with the quartz that's right here all right all right now what you want to do is get your quartz stairs and you actually want to make it stick out just like this and bring it right there and go ahead and bring it till it matches up right there and stop it right in its tracks now what you want to do is get your bricks and you want to make your point the thing that we've done so much in this tutorial that you should be an expert at good all right so <laughs> Get your cobblestone stairs and go on top of these just like this. Ain't nothing too easy. Uh, now you want to go ahead and trace that just like this. All right. Now go ahead and put the under um, upside down stairs on the other undersides. Okay. Now, here comes a part that might be a little tricky for some of you, but for most of you, it'll be pretty easy. So, what you're doing is basically just filling in the roof with your cobblestone stairs. So, I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up so you guys can just see me as I do it. Because you really don't need to see me as I do it, but some of you guys do. So, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. Before I go ahead and speed it up, I want to actually show you how it's got to do it. So for this, you're basically going to follow the line every single time. You just don't want to overlap. So you see, if this one's already like this, I'm just going to go out one more than that. And then go ahead and connect it to that piece right there. And go ahead and do the same over here. Oops. Oh, there we go. So if you guys can see right now, this side actually does match up with this side. This side is actually one block taller, which isn't bad because it just adds that little bit more design. 
So what you're going to do is go ahead and bring this piece right here and it's going to actually curve in to meet up with this one right there. So now you're going to go ahead and finish doing this little design piece uh, right here. And it's actually going to be a little bit harder because it's a tighter squeeze, but you guys can always figure some way to be awesome. So. All right, so now we have that part of the roof completed. Don't ask me what that was because I really don't know. But, um, so now we're gonna do the roof for this section. Okay guys, so now we have the roof pretty much complete. We just need to add one row of slabs right there. Let me go ahead and drink some swiftness. Then we're gonna go ahead and fill in these holes. So, get them right here and basically close this up until you don't see any light anymore from the outside. And after we do that, we're gonna move on to my absolute worst part of building. And that's finishing up the back sides of houses, which I always do so terribly. So I promised the back door here, but I'm actually kind of regretting that because I have no idea inside of my head. So for now, we can just make this blank. And if I think of anything before this video's over, then I'll go ahead and do it. But don't think the video's over. I still have one final touch to do. So you want to go ahead and get your stone slabs. You want to come to the front and you want to place one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven blocks just like that going across. Do that again and do that again. Now you want to, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. First of all, let's go ahead and put this like that. Put that in that space. Put this in this space. And put this in this space. Now go ahead and fill that space in. Now coming one block away from the edges of all of it. Oops. You want to go ahead and put in the floor like that. That's how you want it. Okay. Now, if you want me to show you how to do some sidewalks, too bad. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. So what you want to do is, uh, what I just did. I just cleared my inventory. You want to get some sandstone and sandstone stairs, and then you can go ahead and grab some. Where is it? Oh coarse dirt and some red bushes rose bushes so I'm gonna see if find out can you place rose yep so what you want to do is go ahead and destroy all of this and replace it with coarse dirt want to put your red bushes or rose bushes on top of that on the inside on the outside loop of it you want to put something smaller so you want to put some oleum so that way it just gives that little pop in effect you know what I mean little pop 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 okay so what you want to do now is right here, you want to go over one, two, three, 
four blocks. And you want to bring this all the way over until you get to where the edge of the driveway is. And you want to get your sandstone stairs and you want to place them like this. Now if you're wondering what this is, it's the edge. Uh, I've never seen anybody on Minecraft place an edge before. But I do work in landscaping so I do know what an edge is. And I definitely wouldn't forget it on Minecraft. Uh, basically, some people use an edge or some people use a weed whacker. But it creates like a hole or a line on the edge of your grass and it actually it, it looks really really nice if you're good at doing it. So yeah. It's probably not gonna be this thick in real life, but who cares? Go ahead and do that right here as well. Alright, and go ahead and extend that as far as you want your driveway to go. And do the same right here as far as you want your driveway to go. Oops, that's upside down. And fill this all section in with sandstone. And I'm pretty sure that's the end of this tutorial. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a mighty like. Let's get this video to, mm, let's say, one and a half likes okay thank you for viewing this video make sure to share this video with all of your friends so they can have this amazing house on their cities too and maybe just maybe they might build it on your house they they might try to trick you you might have a neighborhood and they'll go on youtube search up a tutorial and this will pop up but you know what as long as you have this house on your world it's going to be amazing. So here is actually the last part of the tutorial. A lot of you have already clicked away from the video, but get out a sign, go to the door and type D E S I G N E D on the first line and then put B Y on the second line. Oops. Let's do that again. D E S I G N E D on the first line. B Y on the second line. And M R space E U P H O N I U M P S 4 on the third line. There we go. Your house is finished. If you did enjoy it, I've already said this, but if you did enjoy it, please make sure you like. Come on, we need that one and a half like. Um, so, if you did enjoy it, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Mr. Euphonium. Enjoy your day.